our last accompaniment, uh, which I called Mellow Bossa, uh, that was in C major. Hopefully you've tried that. Um, if you remember, the rule was that you could use the notes of the C major scale except for one note, and that note was F, which was the fourth note of that scale. And the reason you weren't to use it was that it clashed with some of the chords of the accompaniment, clashed quite noticeably. With other chords it was all right, but with some chords it didn't work. Whereas any other note sort of sounds okay with any of the chords I'm playing. Now, the next one is going to be exactly the same piece, um, but in a different key, in the key of G major instead of C major. So, do you know your scales? Hopefully you know that a C major scale goes like this, And perhaps by this time you know that a G major scale goes like this. So it's nearly all white notes, except that instead of F, we play F sharp. And then it's recognisably the same tune as the C major scale, but in starting on G instead of C. So what I've done is I've transposed and slightly rearranged the music for the Mellow Bossa to um, the key of G major. In fact, I think that was my original key, so it's the other way around. Um, I rearranged it for C. Anyway, um, so there we are. So the rule is the same in the new key. Have a think about which note you're going to leave out. I won't give the, you the answer. It should be fairly easy. In C major, you left out F. In G major, you will, you, you will still leave out F because you're playing F sharp instead of F, so you won't play F. But there's another note of the, C major, of the G major scale that you will leave out, the equivalent note. Have a think about that, and then um, have a go at improvising over it in G major, which is the next video.